So what is trust? This is something that the jury is still in. Academics are discussing that. And that is because the, the scholar has come from all different disciplines who are interested in the, in the phenomenon. But we can say that it's always about being vulnerable. We can talk about individuals or organizations being vulnerable, trying to cope, trying to manage, trying to work despite of the risk and uncertainty. And then you need trust to be able to do that. Trust has different facets or different elements. Uh, it is always emotional, even though we talk about business context, and we would like trust to be purely rational and analytical. We definitely need to be analytical of whom we trust, in which context, what type of tasks, and how much. But still, there always is this emotional element in trust. And as a researcher, we can see that when we go around and interview company directors or managers, and they might say that, you know, seven years happened, something like that. And because of this, I will never collaborate with this company again. And you know, as an outsider, that that's not rational because a lot of water has been running. A lot of people have changed, but they still feel the hurt and pain because of the maybe opportunistic behavior or the felt uh, distrust or, or uh, abuse of trust a uh, long time ago. And in the past, we have been very much thinking trust as interpersonal trust. And also we have measured trust, for example, trust in organizations as trust between individuals, colleagues, uh, employee and supervisor. But nowadays, that might be a luxury. We don't always have these interpersonal relationships. And companies have been trying to operate uh, in an efficient way, operate globally, and you need also impersonal trust. But again, it's not either or because they have different functions. And I'm saying that the more stronger trust, for stronger trust, you need both elements, interpersonal, social, and impersonal elements. Also in interorganizational alliances, in partnerships, because if we agree to collaborate and do something, it might be that the key boundary spanner is gone next year or even sooner. And you need to be able to trust also the organizational structures, processes and culture that they will behave in a, in a manner that is predictable. And there's also actually some research why Asian car manufacturers have been able to lower their procurement costs, companies like Toyota and Hyundai. And this has been an award-winning article by two scholars. And, and one of the reasons is that they have been able to develop this type of uh, structures and processes that the suppliers can trust them, despite of who is the key boundary spanner. So the impersonal element of organization and trust is also important. But when we talk about knowledge, knowledge creation, the tacit component of knowledge, then I'm claiming it's not sufficient, but we also need to pay attention to social and interpersonal trust.